Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today from our friends at Violet Studio, I've got the Farmstead Easter Collection. And this includes some wonderful little die cut card toppers. There's 28 pieces here. This is a wonderful little paper pad. There are 16 designs, six by six. And then we've got our cute little 18 pieces of little silk daisy flowers. And then of course, a card making kit, in which case, these items right here are in the kit. So you could do one or the other, or you could do all of this collection. And it also has foam tape and everything else you need in here except glue. So come back and play with us and I'll show you more. So let's start with the card making kit. It makes 10 cards. I'll show you what's in here. You've got 10 six by six base cards in light blue and green backgrounds. You've got the envelopes. You've got the patterned paper. So, so cute. And then these cutouts for little greetings, more patterned paper. Then you've got some little baker's twine and a light pink and white. You've got these tiny little yellow nail head stickers, some pink and yellow buttons, little white pom poms for the little bunny tails. And then you've got some die cuts here. Very, very cute. Inside the die cuts, these are some stickers. All these sweet little shapes, greetings, little bunnies, lots of greetings, lots of card focals here. And then two of these little frames, very sweet. And then you've got your foam tape, your foam stickers. Foam tape stickers. All right, so let's show you what you can make little kit. So this is made, everything here on this card was made from this kit, okay? Except I used some glue. That's it. Everything else contained here, which I thought was really sweet. So I went ahead and I took my card, placed the fold at the top, and then the yellow paper was just slightly smaller than the card. So I was able to have a little bit of a border, maybe like one thirty-second of an inch. It's really a tiny little difference. Then I just cut a one and a half inch strip, one and a half by six inches of the blue and white sort of plaid paper and glue that across the center. And then I took one of those little cutouts here, this one right here, cut that out. And then I foam taped the frame over the top of that and then glued that piece right here and then put three little nail heads, one here, here, here. But here I took one of the little die cut, cute little Easter eggs and then a little button. And what I did with the button is I took some of the twine and I separated some of the fibers since the twine was a little too thick to get inside the button. And then I just threaded that little button in there. Maybe we can zoom in on that, Steve. And uh, then just glued that there and then tied a little bow and glued that right there. Really easy and just a sweet little card. I love that everything is in here. Um, if you were traveling and wanted to take a little craft kit with you, grab some scissors, grab some glue. That's all you would need. Um, so let's show you another card. Here's a blue one. We're gonna put this one together. So we're gonna put this one with the fold at the side, okay? And then I've got my little paper. I love this with the bunnies and the chicks and the farm animals, so cute. And I'm gonna take my Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue, and I'm just going to put dots on the edges here that are really get the most wear on the edges of a card. I feel like if my edges are secure, right around the edges, I just need one dot in the center. It's not gonna fall off. And then I cut some of the stripe paper down to, gosh, I think this is about a three and a half inch square. I forgot to measure. And that down right there, right in the center there. All right, and then we're gonna take this little guy, he's so cute, but I wanted to put a little bit of foam tape on him. So I took some of those little foam squares. Oops, squares are sticking. Little pieces right there, and we're gonna put that right there. All right, and then I got a couple of little, little bunnies too, and I put some foam tape there, and we're gonna put those just kind of jumping across the bottom. Got some glue on my finger. And then we're gonna take a little pom-pom, a little white pom-pom that's in the kit, 
We're going to glue that right there for the little bunny tail. That's just adorable. Oh, cute. And then I took this little tag and I threaded it with a little piece of the baker's twine and I knotted the ends. And we're just gonna put a little bit right there. And that's gonna go right there at the top. There we go. Quick and easy card. Yeah, I love it. All right, so let's take a look at this piece is right here. So this one has not only the papers that are in the kit, but also additional wonderful papers. Okay, I got them all. Oh, this is also a really big Happy Easter one. So cute. And then in this one, you've got 28 pieces. I wanted to show you, I'm gonna open this one up. I had this open from when I like used some of the items. So a few of these have been used, but it'll give you an idea of what's in here. Now I did notice this, um, these particular die cuts, they're the same shapes with some additional that are in the kit, but they're also a little thicker cardstock. The ones that are in the kit, um, these are paper, okay? And then these are a more sturdy cardstock. So there is a difference there. And really, really sweet. There's those little bunnies. Okay. okay, this is the one from the kit and this is the one from the pack and it's a little smaller, but it, it is very sturdy. And there we go. So those are all the pieces. As I said, a few of them were missing because I actually used them on the cards. All right, so then you guys, we've got these sweet little daisies, okay? There's 18 pieces in here. I'm gonna show you what I did with those as well. So here is what I did with a slimline card. This is eight and a half inches by three and a half inches. Excuse me. And so then what I did was I took some of the green paper with the bunnies on it and I did two thirds of the card with that. And then I did a third of the card with this really yellow, pretty yellow dot. I took a little scrap piece of the little peach gingham and I glued that little one half inch wide strip down there. And then I foam taped the little um, piece here, the die cut piece, and then put a little bit of gingham ribbon, okay? So here's the little gingham ribbon. So to make this card, yes, I needed the card itself. And then I needed these two products and I needed the ribbon. I needed glue and I also needed some foam tape. <clears throat> All right, so for this card, this is a five by six and a half inch card. I took some more of that uh, sort of peachy orange and white gingham, and I glued a um, half inch wide strip at the top and at the bottom. Then taking this adorable little Easter egg paper, okay, it says wishing you a happy Easter, and I'm just going to put some glue right here around the edges because I'm going to be cutting off the paper and I don't wanna have any glue on the part that I'm cutting off. So I'm just doing that. Centering that right there. I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm gonna turn this over. Here we go. So as I said, this is a five by six and a half inch wide card and this was six inch wide, six by six paper. So I needed a little something at the top of the bottom to cover those ends. Once I did that, I'm gonna take some, these are um, lime green jewel dazzle stickers and I'm gonna take a couple of these and I'm gonna put them right there and i had somebody ask me recently about lining up jewel dazzle stickers what i do is i just place it and then i just touch one in there so it's secure and then i'm just taking it and i'm sort of pulling it across like that and then i touch it at this end so it's secure and we do that and that's how i get them straight and if that is still an issue what you could do is take a uh, craft mat with a grid on it. I wish I had brought mine. Um, and then place the card there. And with the grids on either side of it, just take your sticker and line it across so that you see your grids on either side. So that's helpful as well. That works great if you're doing um, dazzle stickers that are like script greeting dazzle stickers. That's a great way to get them straight as well.
There we go. Okay, so now we've got our little green in there, a little spring green. And then we've got this little tag. I'm going to take that and put a little glue there. And we're just going to hang that tag right there. And then I've got this sweet little bow, once again, from that gingham ribbon set. And I'll list all of these items in the products used down below. Don't forget to take a look at the um, Money Saver bundle that we have right over there on the right side of your screen. And then, you guys, I've got these sweet little flowers, okay? These had a little bit longer stems on them. I just took my scissors and cut the stems off. And we're just going to take these and we're going to put them in a little group right down here at the bottom. A little cluster. Sweet little flowers. Just like that. Once I get the glue on all of them, I just kind of push them together in a little cluster, just like that. In fact, I want them over a little bit farther. All right, so that's, I'm just going to let that glue sit there for a while, and that's going to dry. See, they're really super easy, you guys. Such fun. Um, beautiful little Easter and spring cards. They're not just, whoop, my tail fell off from my bunny. There we go. And um, a nice little collection. So as I said, we have a great money saver. It's on the right-hand side of our screen, okay? Look over there for that. And if you're watching us on YouTube, look in the description box below the video, and it'll take you, there's a link there, and it'll take you to this webisode page at Paper Wishes, and you'll see the money saver, you'll see photos of the cards, um, and also the products you down below that you can add to your cart. So you guys, thanks for joining me today, and I will see you next time.